All right, guys, we have some brand new cells built with some new technology from REPT. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Now, these are supposed to be real 320 amp hour cells. And if you guys have followed these kinds of prismatic cells, you know that there's a lot of them that are being sold like by AliExpress and th places like that, that that claim to be 320 amp hours, but they're not. So as far as I know, there wasn't a real 320 amp hour, but now there is. This is REPT's new technology. It's called Winding, W-E-N-D-I-N-G. And it increases the space utilization rate by more than 7%. The top space of the battery is reduced and the length of the battery tab is shortened. And it also says the electron transmission path is shortened and it adopts dual high solid liquid interface to make the ion transfer speed increased by 30%. So that's some pretty neat sounding technological improvements. I believe these cells are going to be on the market soon. I don't think they are quite yet. And so they sent us a uh, 320 amp hour samples. And this one right here is a, is a 280 amp hour. So we'll mess with that one later. I'm most interested in the 320 amp hour samples right now. And I took a picture of this and posted it on YouTube. And you guys had mentioned these bus bars. These aren't how the cells are not normally going to come. When REPT sells the cells, they'll, they'll come with nothing on, on here. And the company that buys them will end up either welding bus bars or they'll weld studs on them. Uh, I think they just welded these bus bars on here so they could send out samples for testing. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to weigh one. Let's see how much this weighs here. 5.8 kilograms. Let's, let's weigh the 280 amp hour cell. 5.8. So the 280 amp hour cell weighs the same as the 320 amp hour cells? That's weird. All right, guys. So we're going to charge one of these 320s up. And then we're going to do a discharge test to see what we actually get. Will we get the real 320? Will we get less? Will we get more? We got to know, right? And so... Right now it's setting at 3.3 .3 volts and I'm going to charge it at 15 amps, I believe. There we go. All right, 15, 15 amps. So we'll just let that sucker set there and charge up and I'll come back and we'll do a capacity test. All right, so this cell has fully charged. This little charger resets itself after a period of time. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, I came out here earlier and it said that it had put in about 200 amp hours, but it's reset itself since then, so it's back to zero. I wish it wouldn't do that, but it does. But I do remember it was 200. Let's start it again. Here we see the voltage climbing up. That way we know we're totally at 3.65. There it is, we're at 3.65. We're starting to taper off on the current. All right, so I'm going to hook it up now and do a discharge capacity test. All right, you guys, we're all set up to do a capacity test. It did get colder here. We are like in the 50s, 40s, yeah, high 40s. And I want to make sure that these the cell stays in the 70s basically so i've got this uh, little heater up here and i'm going to try to maintain 70s so as you see we've got 70 on the cell right now so we're going to make sure it stays in the 70s you can see these guys over here are in the 50s but we're not testing them so that's fine uh so let's go ahead and start the test And we're discharging at 30 amps. Looks like we're doing about 93 watts. And we're going to discharge it down to 2.4 volts. And this is going to take forever. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to let that run. And I'm recording a time lapse, so we'll catch every minute of it. And uh, we'll see what we get.
All right, guys, check it out. We're at 319 amp hours, 1,052 watt hours so far. We're still holding uh, almost three volts, so 2.968. I do believe we're gonna hit uh, 320 amp hours. These are the real deal. So uh, we've had the heater kind of keeping everything warm over here so you can see we're in the 70s so that's great so we're not too cold and you can see we're cold over here where we're not warming things up there it is 320 amp hours and it only took us 12 hours and 18 minutes <laughs> to get there oh boy well, there you have it guys. These are legit 320 amp hour cells. That new technology that REPT has developed allowed them to bring these prismatic cells, this form factor we're all used to, to 320 amp hours. Amazing, that's awesome. Now the question is, is how much further will we go? Will we get 322 maybe? I don't know. Let's let it keep running. All right, guys. We're about to go below 2.4. Oh, there it is. All right, so check it out. We got 326 amp hours. All right, guys, so those results were really good. Uh, that's impressive, and we finally have seen real 320 amp hour cells. So now I really want to build a battery with these cells. And unfortunately, <laughs> these little bus bars that are already pre-welded are making it a little bit difficult for me to figure out how to do that. Again, these aren't going to come standard on these cells. Uh, these were just placed on here for us to do testing. So I think there's really only a few options here as far as being able to put these together. Of course, you know, I could do a really long, thin battery and then bridge them here, here, and here, which would, you know, it would work in actually some scenarios, like even in my RV, this would work really nice because I have a bench in the front of my RV that could open up and this would lay up against the wall and not take up a whole lot of space. But... I think it's going to be really hard to kind of tape these together in this configuration and be able to move it around. It's not really going to work great for, for just taping. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this reinforced tape. So I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in this configuration. And that should work just fine. Of course, you know, it's gonna be a little wider than it needs to be just because these bus bars are sticking out the sides, but that'll be okay. Uh, I made these little copper bus bars here that will fit perfectly there and there. And so all I have to do now is I can use this length of wire here to connect these and then the four cells are in series and this would be my main negative and my main positive of course it needs a BMS uh, so don't ever hook these cells up and try using them without a BMS okay so I got a couple of things I'm actually going to put in between the cells I'm going to use these leftover SunFun kit spacers to go between the cells here and then I've got a piece of fish paper that's gonna go between the cells here.
Okay, there we go. We've got one group. And there we have it. We have two cell groups here. Uh, basically, now it's two six volt batteries. <laughs> Put our fish paper in between the two just to make sure we have some good isolation. And now we can tape that whole bunch together. And before I tape it, I think I'm going to go ahead and bolt these bus bars down to join the two just to keep it a little bit more stable while I'm taping it. And before I do that, I'm going to put some, some corrosion inhibitor on these bus bars since they're just pure copper. Okay, I just sprayed a little touch on there. You don't have to like oversaturate it. All right, so let's uh, do the final taping here now. All right, those are all taped up and they are not moving or anything like that. Uh, they are quite well fixed. That really is some strong tape. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I went ahead and put that little jumper on right here and I did one more thing. I covered the bottom in this the wider uh, fiber tape, fiber reinforced tape, just to protect the bottom a little bit better. That'll also help keep the cells together. But we can actually go ahead and check the voltage now that we have the cells all in series. And there we go, we've got uh, 13.18 volts. And that is a 12 volt battery. Now, again, it doesn't have a BMS, so it's not a full, complete 12 volt battery. You can't, uh, it can't be used yet safely. And unfortunately, I don't have a good BMS for this right now, so I'm gonna have to order one. I would like to order a good 200 amp Bluetooth BMS to put on this battery. So that's gonna be for another video. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna be it. I would like to thank REPT for giving us the opportunity to get a hold of these cells. It's very awesome that they gave us that opportunity. Um, I don't know how many people have these, but I don't think there's very many of them out there, so I feel really honored to do this. Please leave your comments. Let me know what you think about these 320 amp hour cells, and I'll catch you on the next one.